Hey everyone, welcome back. I am so glad that you guys came over today to watch this brand new video. If this is your first time here, I just wanted to welcome you and let you know that I'm so glad that you clicked on this video and that you're here. So this is my kind of social experiment for the next year that I want to make a video every single day. I want to have some kind of documentation where I can see how God is changing me and um, using me to bring more glory to Him. Because we look back on life and we think, oh yeah, I've changed and I am different. But you really don't know how or what happened a lot of times. And so I thought it was really important just to document that. So without further ado, I will bring you on to the message. This is something small that happened to me. And I was cleaning, and so I do some cleaning videos and stuff on another channel that I'll link down below. And I was cleaning my house and filming it, which probably sounds kind of crazy to some people. But um, it gives you some great motivation to actually clean your own house, and sometimes I need that. Most of the time I need that. So I was watching a video, and the person in this video said something that was just so profound. And I thought that was really interesting, and I really wanted to like sit down and document it and make sure that it was a part of my journey because it was just so profound to me and it was something that was profound to them. Interestingly enough, it had to do with how God speaks to us. And I know that some people believe he doesn't. I know that some people believe he does. I know lots of devout um, people that believe in Jesus that have never, you know, physically heard a voice or anything like that. Um, so I think God speaks to us in like different ways and it's kind of like custom, right? It's like tailor-made to how you perceive the world and what your perception is because he knows you better than anyone else in creation, right? And so that's just like my, my opinion on it. And the interesting thing that this girl said was she said that God whispers and the enemy yells. And I always refer to the devil or Satan or things like that as the the enemy. For some reason, it's a good like visual in my head. It like makes sense in my head. So if you didn't know that about me, just throw that in there. But that Satan has to yell because he's like way off, right? Like he's not next to you. Like he's not right here. And he's just yelling and yelling and yelling and trying to get you to pay attention. And what does that sound like? Like the busyness of our life and the people, you're trying to make everyone happy. You're trying to get everyone everywhere. You're trying to um, make relationships work. You're trying to, you know, just do the busyness of life and to accomplish all your tasks, which is wonderful. Like we should all strive to be productive. But on the other hand, it's interesting how God doesn't have to do that, that he is right here with us, right? And so he just whispers and we just have to listen. So it might be in the form of somebody talking to you that you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like God was telling me something right there, right? It might be in the form of, you know, something you watched on TV. It might be something you read in a book, something in social media, something somebody said in passing. Um, who knows? And I think those little things change us. And so you have to figure out how to, um, I think the right word for this is discern it. So you have to figure out how God kind of speaks to you. I think I've been doing this for a while, trying to figure out about how he talks to me and what the difference is, right? Because I'll have experiences that I don't feel, feel like other people have, or I'll have things happen that I don't feel like, um, or I'll say to people, I just feel like I have so much to do for him or something like that. And they just kind of look at me like I'm crazy. And I think the reason is because I've been really working on like trying to listen. And I think that everything that you come in contact with, if you truly believe that God is in control and in control of your entire life, then anything that he brings into your reality is important and purposeful and there for a reason, correct? So I think it's important to know how he's trying to talk to you. And it's just something I've really tried to be like in tune with. And I just thought it was so important to note 
that you know what, sometimes the enemy has to yell because he can't get your attention. Um, that he has to really make a fuss. You know, he has to like make things awful to try to get your attention. But God, he's right there. Like he, he's right here. Like he just has to whisper to you. And really like all we have to do is listen. He told me once that you should be able to walk through life very easily. Because if you're just doing exactly what God's telling you to do, going the places that God is telling you to go, it shouldn't be this hard. The difficult part of that is when persecution happens and things happen and, and you have to know how to deal with adversity really well. And to deal with um, adversity through Him is a big key to that. But if you just look at how it's supposed to be, we're just supposed to be able to walk through life listening to God and doing exactly what he says. I just finished a study on Right Now Media, um, and it was Francis Chan, the book of Mark, and he um, expressed in that, he was like, you know, if the Son of God is telling you to do something and you're not doing it, he was kind of like, you know. But to me, I think there was a little more key to that. Like, he, he can't say, like, sucks for you, you know, he has to be really professional. But I think I can say, you know, if God is telling you to do something, if you really feel like he's leading you in a direction and like all these specific words that people say, uh, that you should be able to walk through life pretty, pretty easily. It doesn't say you won't be unscathed because obviously you will. And it doesn't say that there won't be storms, but even in the storm, like he's right here. You know, he, he doesn't have to yell, like he's right here. And I think he just wants us to be close to him through all of it. Isn't that the point of all of this? To try to get back to our creator? Like we were, we were separated from him through the fall and through all this terribleness. And you know, for years now, we've all been trying to get back to him. And he's just whispering at us like, I'm right here. Like, it's okay, I'm right here. It was something that changed my soul. It was something that made me think differently about my perspective. And I just wanted to share it with you. Thanks for coming over and I will see y'all in my next brand new video.